let's select the R. We will make a bookshelf. Now here we want it to be, let's say 1500 by 450. We will triple click it, make it a group or press G. Now you can see here that another group has been created. Let's delete this table. Now we will say bookshelves. Triple click it and we are in. Let's give it a height, push and pull. Let's say we wanted 1500. Now we want to create uh, an opening in it. So let's, we will again use our offset tool or O, select the space. We want it, the thickness of the sides to be 20. And we will, and let's say bottom we want 50. So we already have 30. We will move this line, say M. We'll move it up. You can hit the top key to uh, snap it. Let's say 30 mm more. Now it's created a skirting. Now we'll use the push and pull tool and we will create an opening. So we want it for 30 so that we have a 20 mm back. Hit enter. Now we have made a casing. Now you want to divide it into three and you want to know where your shelves will be placed. So what we will do is we will select the T. Uh, we will draw a line here. Draw a line. This is all outside the group. We are drawing the line outside the group. We will select the line, hit M on your keyboard, hit control and copy the line. and you will place it inside here, the top. You'll click it and without pressing any of your mouse, you will say slash or divide by how many shelves we want. Let's say three shelves and hit enter. Now it's given us the placement of our shelves. So if you want to uh, divide uh, object into equal parts, this is how you will do it. You will select the end point, you'll select the end, line you'll make a copy of it and divide it by three or let's say this time five so you will have five equal parts now let's make a shelf so we want let's say a 20 mm shelf i will just copy hit this control copy it 20 now it's given me a reference you can also use your uh, tape measure to give your 20 mm reference R and I will draw a rectangle on this line. Now I have a face on a face. Triple click it and let's make it a component because we know that our shelves are going to be multiple. And if we want to change a shelf, we want it to change everywhere. So I will name it shelf. Go inside and activate my push pull tool. And let's say we want it to be 430 mm. Now we have a shelf. You want to copy it and place it. Now, if you want to make multiple copies, like I had shown earlier, if you hit the object, hit the move command, press control, it will make a copy. Let's say I want to place it here and now I want multiple five copies. So I'll say into five. So it will give me five copies. This is if you want to make certain object have multiple, like an array. This I taught you last time. So 
we are not going to use that because we have only two shelves. If you have more than two shelves, if you want to make it a longer, you can use this. You don't need to copy it every time. Similarly, I'll show you if we have an object here, what we did with the line, we can do it with the shelves as well. So let's say I make a shelf and I place it at the bottom. Now I want to divide the shelf equally. I'll hit, I'll select the top corner control. I'll place it at the top and I'll again do divide by three. So what this will do is it will again make the similar three copies, but we don't want this and we don't want this. You can use this method or the earlier method I show you to copy a shelf or to make shelves. Now, since we have this component, the advantage will be if we want to edit the shelf, it will do it for all the objects. Now you see that we have these three shells have been made. Let's delete this. We will select all this and make it a group. We have another group here. Let's see, bookshelf. So let's say we will do a small wardrobe and then we can copy it. We want our wardrobe to be 900 by 600. I'll go and make it a group. Go inside, give it a height, 2100. And we have a wardrobe block. Similarly, how we did for the bookshelf, we'll offset it. Select O, offset it 20, so that we have 20 on each side. That's the side thickness. We will give it a skirting move it by 30 so we have a 50 skirting use your push and pull tool to create an opening so this is 580 now we have a shell of the wardrobe so let's say now i want to have a division here and i will be putting in a drawer. So let's make first the middle shelf. So I will create a surface here that's going to act as my shelf. Triple click it, make it a component, say middle shelf. Enter in. 20 mm and I want to place it at 900. So what I can do is we can either use our guide command, say 900 and we have the guide and I'll place it here. And now I want a drawer. So let's say I want my drawer to be 200 mm deep. I'll again select my guide command. I'll make a 200. I have my reference. I'll make a rectangle here. Make it a component, say drawer fascia. Over, go in and push and pull it. 
So I wanted 550. We have a drawer. We are going to accessorize it by handles and other things that I'll show you in the next part, how we can use the 3D warehouse to bring in models like handles, loads. Now let's use our follow me tool. I want a hanging rod here. So let's say I want a hanging rod that is 50 mm below this. And I want it in the center. So I will select this and I'll hover it here. I'll get the midpoint. And yeah. so I have a midpoint. Now, remember what I told you in the follow me tool? You need a path and you need, need a geometry. So let's draw the path first. I want this line here. You can also just uh, like draw a circle and push pull it. But I'll just show you how to use the follow me tool for this. A line and a circle. So I want a one inch dia. I'll say 0 0.5. I'll select the path and I'll go to my follow me tool and select the follow me circle. Now it's made a pipe. You can simply draw a circle and push it, push pull it as well. But I wanted to use the tool and show you how we can do it. And we have a hanging rod. Now let's say that you want a shelf that is in between. And we're going to copy it the way we learned it. So let's say we have a shelf. We'll place it at the bottom. You'll select the top, control, select the line where you want it to be. Divide by two. Now it's made, it's perfectly divided that shelf where we want it. Because we didn't want to use like the guidelines and tell us where the, we didn't want to calculate the distance, we can use this and it will give you a, a shelf that is exactly placed in the middle. I'll delete my guides. And we have one shell. Let's select it all together, press G and make it a group. This can be wardrobe one. Now we want to make the shutters. So to again make the shutters, since this is a 900 by 900, we can get a center line. We'll draw center line for reference, or you can also use your guidelines to make a guide. And we will draw shutter. So we need a surface. We'll make it a component. Since we know that we are going to have multiple shutters, and if we want to place a handle on one shutter, we want it to repeat on all the shutters. So we will say shutter and let's give it a thickness. Now you want to copy it. You copy it and we'll hit the scale because we have copied it in the same direction and we will want our handles to mirror. So we'll use the scale command, we'll stretch it, minus one for the scale factor, enter. And now if I go inside and let's say I want, 
my handle will be here. You see, since we have scaled and mirrored the object, it's making it in the same position. If you don't do that and you just simply make a copy and you don't mirror it, that again so if i do a rectangle make it a component and copy it but i don't mirror it see the difference that will happen so let's say i want to place a handle here you see what it's done it's made the same handle but it's made it on the right hand side. That's why it's important that we mirror the object. So you can either do it here or you can just simply mirror the component when you make so that you don't have to again mirror the whole thing again and again and again. And you have the exact handle positions. Let's create a handle. So again, we will use our follow me tool to create a handle. Let's say I want it outside 20. I have 500 and now I want to give it a, a surface. So I'll go to my circle command. Go Let's say one, five. We will select this three times. So it selects the whole path. We'll go to our follow me tool and create and hit on the circle. Now it's made a perfect handle in that profile. Use Delete guides. So we have made a wardrobe. We can group the two shutters here. Say wardrobe, one inch shutter. And then we can group this entire thing. Now, if you want to hide only the shutters, you can go here in your wardrobe group. You can say wardrobe one shutter and hide. Now you have only. So this is very important when you want to show it with the shutters and without the shutters, views without the shutters, you can all manage it in your outliner. Okay. 